to uh, push it. Okay, so let's start. I'm gonna start sitting just on my blanket back here. And um, I'm gonna start with my knees bent, heels right in line with my sitting bones. I'm gonna take a moment here to push. We'll put my hands on my thighs and then kind of drop my thighs into my hands as I do that. I'm gonna open my chest. Good. And then from here, just take your chin up and your chin down. Yeah, and if you haven't muted yourself, why don't you guys keep chinning up, chinning down, and I'll mute everybody so that um, that's, yeah, great. One more. All right, so chin up, chin down. And now I want you to pause, feel your chin slightly in. So that's just to elongate your back, the back of your neck to that, um, that perfect spot, right? So not straining the vertebra. Good, and now you're gonna take your chin over each shoulder to the right, to the left. Just check in. You're hearing a lot of sound back there. Just flag that. Good, and then from here, let's pause. You're gonna inhale, sweep your arms out, and I want you to feel yourself lead with your elbows. So as the arms come out to the side, draw the navel in. Good. Pull your sitting bones into the floor. Grow yourself just a little taller as the arms float out. Put a little attention on your scapula so you feel the shoulder blades pull down the back. Good. So now let's pause with your elbows slightly up but beneath your shoulders. Lift your forearms and then exhale, float the forearms down. So we're going to come up and exhale, float the forearms down, up and down. Good. Try that just a couple more times. So waking up at your shoulder joint, good. And then from here, let's take one arm up, exhale, pull the elbow in. Opposite arm up, and then let it come down. One arm up, and then down, opposite arm up, and then down, good, inhale. Stretch both arms up, pull them down. Let's try that two more times, inhaling up, and exhaling down, inhale, and exhale down, good. So now, Pause, open your chest, extend your spine forward, let the knees float up, and then exhale, you lift. Good, you'll open, drop down, and exhale, lift up. Good, try this just a couple more times. Uh-oh, we lost Denise, but she's back. Good, so the spine floating forward, good. And then from here, let's pause with your two arms up your knees out, and you're gonna exhale, rotate to one side, then rotate to the opposite side. So ground your sitting bones and really think about that rotation <laughs> happening through your rib cage. Good, so we'll rotate and continue to lengthen your neck here. Good, if you're feeling tight in your hips, you can add a little blanket or something underneath you. Excellent, let's pause here for a moment. Take your two arms back up and then reach to one side. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, reach to the opposite side. So the trick here will be to ground your sitting bones, keep them anchored as you reach to one side and then up over to the opposite side. Exhale into the side bend. Good, all right, so now we'll hold. Circle the arms just a moment. Again, feeling your neck continue to lengthen. Beautiful. So now from here, let's bring your knees in, the elbows just slightly wide from the knees. Inhale, extend the sternum forward, and then exhale, let's float back. So you're going to inhale, sit all the way up. When you float back, engage through the front of you, right? So that these muscles here are supporting the weight of your back. You don't want to feel the weight of your body collapsing into your vertebra. Right, you wanna feel the front body connected and strong, supporting the back of you. Okay, so now from here, pause, and then take one arm up, one arm down, and try this just a few times. So, stabilize across your collarbones, stabilize in your scapula, letting the arms just float through the shoulder socket. Very nice, let's pause, two arms up, Open your chest, stretch forward once again. When you move forward, think about leading with the base of your sternum right here, and exhale, big stretch. And again, your scapula moving forward as well.
good. So now you're gonna exhale, float right back down, and then let's rotate your ribs to the right and then to the left. So feel the arms connected inside your scapula, right? And then they're on the ride here as your rib cage is doing the rotation. So you'll exhale to one side, exhale to the other side, keep your big toes, your ankles, your knees stable and together as you generate this twist. All right, so then from here, pause on the right side and lightly lift and lower your rib cage down and up, two, and one. Let's try that on the other side, rotating, and then exhale, taking five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Inhale back to the center, and then exhale once again. Open your chest, and now this time we're gonna rotate to one side, Stretch the opposite hand to foot. Go ahead on this round. Keep the knees bent for now. We'll do this again later with straight legs. But this is a great opportunity to warm up your back. So we rotate and we reach forward. We rotate, we reach forward. Keep your arms soft enough that your shoulders aren't straining, right? And you're not really moving the arms. You're twisting and extending the spine. Good, let's try this one more time. A la derecha, a la izquierda. Good, and then right back up. Bring your hands back behind your head for a moment. Open your chest, take a little stretch here. Exhale, bring your knees in, and then I'm gonna turn, this is my left side facing the computer, and we're gonna start making our way down to the floor. So if you're, again, you're newer to this practice or You've taken a little break, go straight down to the floor and take a, take a rest and get comfortable. If you wanna go the slow way, here we go. Your chest moves forward, the arms up. Exhale, bring them down, scoop the belly in. And now from here, just lightly pulse from the front of the ribs. You'll exhale, take five, four, three, two, one. All that movement's right here. Exhale, lower chest a hair. Once again, you'll lift and lower for five, four, three, two, one, lower down just a hair more, and then once again, pulse five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna do that two more times, lower just a hair, pulse five, four, three, two, one. Last time, lower just a hair more, pulse five, four, three, and two, and one. Now you can take your fingertips to the legs and walk yourself down, or slowly lower the bones of the back, bit by bit. From the tailbone, now the sacrum, now the lumbar spine, now the rib cage, now the shoulders, and now the head. Good, so slow strength is a really great way to um, teach your body not to injure itself. So let's pause here for a moment, and then I want you to exhale, pull your elbows into the sides, and then stack your knees right over your hips. Let's reverse that, arms up, and then knees right over your hips. Really create some resistance through your arms by tucking them in. Inhale as you lower the legs, exhale to pull up. Again, take breaks if you feel like your abdominal muscles are fatiguing and this is bothering your low back. Not worth it. Let's try two more. Inhale down, exhale lifting up. Inhale down, exhale lift. Now pause. From here, place your hands on the thighs and you're gonna exhale, reach your arms just alongside the ears as the legs extend. Exhale, place the hands right back on the thighs, bend the knees. Inhale, stretch, reaching out. Exhale, pull into the center. So while you perform this, watch your navel. You wanna feel from the ribs to the hips. You've got length, you've got stability. The hips aren't wobbling. And certainly you don't wanna feel that the rib cage is popping up, which is then gonna strain your low back. Keep the ribs down as the legs extend. Let's try that one more time. Beautiful, pause. Now from here, interlace the fingers, move the hands behind the head, inhale. Open your chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together, pull the elbows into your peripheral vision. Exhale, lift the head and chest up. From here, take your toes down. Extend the shins. We'll take five and lift. Exhale, four and exhale, three. 
and exhale two and exhale one now pause lower the head keeping your hands behind the head now send your heels up towards the sky now point the toes exhale send the heels towards the sky so this is going to extend the calves extend the backs of the legs as you flex the feet good so now hold here you're going to point the toes lower the legs slightly now exhale flex the feet and send them right back up so you're going to point to lower two three exhale flex to lift two three point to lower two three exhale flex to lift two three point to lower two three exhale lift two three one more time point to lower two three exhale lift Good, so now you'll lift your head and chest from the rib cage. Once again, slightly close. You'll take five and four and three and two and one. Inhale, open the legs, lower the head and chest. So you want to feel simultaneously your inner thighs are stretching and they're working. And then you're going to exhale, lift the head and chest, lift the two legs. Four more, inhale and exhale, lift four. Inhale, you lower down. Exhale, lift three. Inhale, lowering down. Exhale, lift two. Inhale, and exhale, lift one. Right hand behind your thigh, left hand behind your thigh. Lift your shoulder blades up. Take your arms to the sides, and you're going to inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale, palms up, and exhale, palms down. Inhale, palms up and exhale palms down hands behind the thighs let the legs travel off just a hair pull the shoulder blades up pull the navel in tailbone down let's try it again inhale two three four five exhale two three four five inhale two three four five exhale two three four five inhale two three four five exhale two three four five pause this time take your hands to the inner thighs heels together toes apart lift your shoulder blades but don't bulge the abdomen right you want to pull the tailbone down lengthen the abdominal wall and then exhale come right back to it you'll inhale two three four five exhale two three four five inhale two three four five exhale two three four five last time two three four five exhale two three four five pause bend the knees lower your head and chest arms up Take the knees to the left, take your arms to the right, and then let's reverse that just a couple of times. So you're putting a nice little um, stretch of your hips here. And then again, take your uh, head in opposition to your arms so you can get a little stretch of your neck also. Okay, so now we're gonna pause with your knees right here in your center with your arms up for a moment um and again tailbone down front of the ribs strong and deep tap your feet as one thing into the floor for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 feet down arms up elbows in lift the hips so we're going to inhale come down so my feet are all the way together on this round exhale lift elbows Pull to your side, shoulder blades squeeze together. Inhale, come down, two, three, maybe even the arms travel up. And then exhale, lift up, two, three. Let's come down, two, three. Let's come up, two, three. Let's come down, two, three. Let's come up, two, three. Let's try it one more time. And exhale, lift, elbows pull in. Let your thumbs come right here to your hips and then keep your hip bones anchored in place. I'm going to open my knees, close my knees. Try that 10 times. This is just going to target your inner thighs and a little bit your um, outer hips. So here we go. Take 10 and 9 and 8 and 7 and 6 and 5 and 4 and 3 and 2 and one let's pause bend the knees draw your um, pelvis back down to the floor take your knees over your chest bring your hands up gaze at the abdomen and again so as much as you can pull down with the belly to lift the shoulder blade as you pull the belly in 
reach your tailbone towards your heels. And those actions keep the abdominal wall long and broad. So now from here, extend arms, extend legs. If this is too much, just do the arms or just do the legs. Try four more, inhale out and exhale in. Inhale out, exhale in. Inhale out, exhale in two. Inhale out, exhale in one. A little pause, sweep the hands behind the head. Extend your left leg, rotate towards your right thigh, and then exhale, change. Exhale, change. So this rotation is through the rib cage. And again, I'm gonna ask you to be mindful. If you're tired, take a little break. If your muscles are fatiguing, they're just not gonna work as well as you want them to. So take little breaks and exhale, reach five and reach four and reach three and reach two and reach one. Good, now exhale, pause. Lower your head and chest, take your arms out to the sides, tuck your shoulder blades in, and you're gonna let the legs travel to the right, around and up on the left. Now the legs to the left, around and up on the right. Now the legs to the right, around and up on the left. Legs to the left, around and up on the right. Pause here in your center. Take your big toes, turn them in, and now tap them together. So you're gonna tap five, four, three, two, one. Heels together. Tap five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna go toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels. Now let's hold the heels together. Let the legs travel to the right around and up on the left. Legs to the left, around and up on the right. Legs to the right, around and up on the left. Legs to the left, around and up on the right. Pause, bring your legs back to a parallel, feet on the floor, arms tuck into your sides, squeeze the shoulder blades together, push, lift the pelvis, off of the floor, take the tailbone up. And now press your left foot firm as you raise your right heel, then the ball of the foot, then the toe, just above the floor, then set it down, toe, ball, heel. Let's try that on the left. Heel, ball, toe, set it down, toe, ball, heel. Lifting heel, ball, toe, setting it down, toe, ball, heel. Lifting heel, ball, toe on the left, toe, ball, heel, heel, ball, toe. Toe, ball, heel, heel, ball, toe, toe, ball, heel. Pause, hold your weight on your left side. Now raise the right knee over the hip, tuck the shoulder blade down the back, tap down and up. The knee joint comes parallel to the opposite knee and then stacks right over the hip for five and four and three and two and one. Placing that foot down, lifting the hips once again, stabilize the right side. Now lift your left knee over the hip, tap it down and up, down and up, down and up. So you'll exhale, take five and four and three and two and one. Very nice. Now from here, pause, push the weight into the left side. Now lift your le right leg. Stretch out and in, out and in, out and in. Five and four and three and two and one. Good pause. Leg pulls right down. Make sure your feet come parallel each time. Make sure you lift your hips each time. Knee over the hips. Stretch out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. Taking five. And four, focus on stabilizing the right side. Three and two and one. Excellent. The leg pulls down, push through both feet, right knee over the hip. This time, extend the knee. And you're going to point to lower the toes, flex to lift. Take a few rounds here. Good. So make sure the kneecap comes no further than the opposite knee. And we'll go two. And 
One good pause, the knee bend, place it on the floor, reaffirm the lift in your hips and pelvis, left knee up, extend the leg down and up. Good, point to lower, flex to lift, down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. Last time, down and up. Good, pause, bend the knee, place the foot on the floor, lift the two hips, exhale, pull, the bones of the back down to the floor, draw the knees in over your chest, exhale, rock on your spine. So we're gonna pull the belly deep, exhale, rock back, and come up. Feel your body stabilize right over your sitting bones. Your chin moves in, you're gonna engage the abdomen, exhale, come up, and then right back down. Okay. So pause for a moment here, pull the belly deep, take the arms up, two, three, down, two, three, up, two, three, down, two, three, up, two, three, down, two, three. Good, hold the arms up, open and close. Open and close, open and close open and close good so now let's pause set your feet down take a little stretch of your hips forward so heels are together knees moving out i'm going to extend my spine just a few times over the thighs good so now we're going to prepare for roll-ups and um if you're new to roll-ups a lot of recommendations here first is you can fold up your blanket or fold up a blanket if you don't have one yet and put it in the center of your mat, okay? And then you'll come and sit in front of it, arms out. Try doing your roll-ups like this today. I promise um, it will make it more manageable. If that is not enough support, then try holding weights in your hands. So you would sit in front of the blanket and then put weights in your hands, extend the arms out, come down and up. Good. So those of you who, you can be practicing before we all go together. So that's two modifications right there. If that isn't enough, then you can brace yourself on something else out in front of you. So that would be putting your feet against the wall and give yourself some other stable surface Maybe get your dog to sit on your ankles, whatever it is you need, but give yourself the props to do this well. And then if it doesn't go well, ask me questions after class and we'll figure out how to make it work for you. So here we go, roll ups. Start with bent knees. Um, feel that line between your ear, your shoulder, your rib and your hip. You have two vertical lines on either side of your body here. So now inhale, sit tall, relax your neck, and then exhale, anchor your sitting bones, draw your abdomen in, and slowly begin to lower all the way to the floor on a five, on a four, on a three, on a two, on a one. Let the thumbs come down, inhale, and exhale, lift the head, the shoulders, the shoulder blades, the rib cage, the lumbar, the sacrum. Now the tailbone comes up. Good, so if that went great, go ahead and extend. I'm gonna extend my left leg. I'm gonna push down and slowly, so really anchor through my legs as I lower to the floor on a five, a four, a three, a two, and a one. Inhale and exhale, bring my arms to the side. So resist twisting from side to side and resist forcing yourself up. See if you can find this action through that slow, slow strength. So you could have weights in your hands if you're having a hard time. You could make your blanket a little bit higher. Change the position of the two legs. Feel those plumb lines on either side of the body. Inhale and exhale coming down five and four and three and two and one, inhale, and exhale, lift the head, the shoulders, shoulder blades, 
rib cage, lumbar, all the way up. Two legs out and two arms out, right? So now here, let's see what happens. So we're gonna inhale and exhale. Explore, be curious as you lower down. Usually as we warm up, the muscles, the coordination starts to happen for us. So inhale, taking another breath. Exhale, lift the head, the shoulders, shoulder blades, rib cage, lumbar. Excellent. Let's do one variation here. Cross your left arm over your right. Now from here, let the arms float down and up just a few times. Good. And now let's pause with the arms in front of your chest. Take your right leg over your left and then right back down. So take that just like five times. Over, over, back. Good, now hold the leg there, sitting up nice and tall, inhale, and exhale, lowering down, five, four, three, two, one. Leave your arms just here for a moment. If you can, lift the legs, five, lift the legs, four, lift the legs, three, lift the legs, two, lift the legs, one. Inhale, arms float right back over your chest. Exhale, lift the head. The shoulders, shoulder blades, rib cage, lumbar, sacrum, all the way back up. Change the cross of the arms. Good. And now exhale, arms float down and up. Good. So your palms can either face down or face laterally, whatever feels kind of better to your shoulders. Good. So hold the arms now out in front of you, left over right. Take five and four and three and two and one hold that leg crossed over the opposite side inhale and exhale let's lower down five and four and three and two and one so either choose to take a break here and just breathe or pull the front of the rib cage in and then lift your two legs five this is a ward i should say when these are ward exercises to make his life a little more challenging on a Tuesday. Good, two, this is a ward one, so don't do it if, you're, if you don't want to. Inhale, take the arms up, over your chest, over, so feel them kind of float the palms over your pubic plate here. And then from there, you'll exhale with the head, the shoulders, shoulder blades, rib cage, lumbar, sacrum, all the way back up. Good, so now arms here at your sides, fold it or unfold the two knees, and then you're just gonna tip your weight back ever so slightly. Extend your shins up and down. So let's go five and four and three and two and one. Good, let's pause with your knees bent. Open the knees, so close the knees, take five and four and three, so feel the abdomen engaged, don't lift the legs, two, and one, good, rotate to the right side, lift and lower the thighs like they're one thing, five, four, three, two, one, pause, pass through the center, opposite side, five, and four, and three, and two, and one, good, so I want you to tuck your knees in, we're gonna rotate onto all fours. Inhale. So coming into your all fours position, this is now my right side facing the computer if that helps you orient yourself. If you were using your blanket as a prop, you want to just unfold it and make sure you have it here for your knees. So let's exhale and move some weight back. Another thing you all, you can do with your blanket, so if your wrists bug you when you're on all fours or just you've done too much down dog in your life, fold your blanket up so that the heel of your hand can be above the knuckles. And if you orient your um, arms in this way, it reduces the amount of extension your wrist has to do and it will take pressure off of your wrists. So those of you who we've talked about wrist issues, this is a great um, little assist for the wrists, right? So just fold the blanket up. Now exhale, move the thighs back. And you can do push-ups this way. You can do down dog this way. 
You can be on all fours this way and it will be awesomer for you. So you've just created like a little wedge for the wrist. All right, so now let's pause with your hips right over the knees. I want you to curl the lumbar under and then lift your tailbone. So just make this tailbone initiated flexion and extension of the low spine. Just focus there. So when you aim to not move your upper spine while you flex the low spine, you're gonna target those deep abdominal muscles, right? So you'll feel the trunk inflection. That's your rectus abdominis doing some work there. Good, so now I want you to feel that place where you've got just the slightest little tuck. Basically your lumbar is still long and supported. Now stretch your right knee out, bring it right back in, stretch the left knee out. So just try this a few times. You're gonna extend one leg without, with almost a minimal imperceptible shift in um, your weight, right? So the muscles are helping you stay balanced through your hips. I want you to pause now with your left leg out. Now take your right hand to your left hip underneath you. So feel this whole part of you stays long and broad and connected. Flex your left foot, take the leg down and up. So we're gonna just try a few of these, five and four and three and two. The point is these two hip bones staying balanced. Now bend and straighten the knee, feeling the knee basically lifted to the same plane as the hip. Three, and two, and one. Now pause, send the heel to the sky. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bending the knee, bring it all the way in. Shake it, try that on the other side. So right leg extends, left hand to your right hip. Feel that whole abdominal wall. Doesn't matter what the flesh per se is doing, align the bones, right? So maybe you just wanna feel that your two hip bones are on the same horizontal plane. And then from there, exhale, lift. Good, and try to stay balanced and stable with that supporting hand. Good, exhale, take five, four. Feel your shoulder scapula also balanced, two, and one, bend and straighten the knee. The knee is on the same plane as the hip. And we'll go five and four and three and two and one. Good, heel to the sky, down and up, down and up, down and up. Good, for five, four, three, two and one. Excellent, bring that down, stretch your hips back. If you folded your blanket up, unfold it, and now extend the arm. And take one more big breath. Inhale, look up, take your gaze to the thumb, and then you're gonna bring your forearms to the floor. Extend just the right leg back. Exhale, lift it down and up. So you're gonna come five and four, and three, so a long lift, the whole leg, two, and one. Hold the leg halfway up, tap it to the right, and then tap to the left. You're gonna tap to the right, tap to the left, tap to the right, tap to the left, tap to the right, tap to the left, hold to the right, down and up, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the knee. Bring it in, reach the hip back, take a stretch. Good, inhale, stretch. Bring your shoulders right over your um, uh, elbows once again. Left leg comes out. Try to balance the bones of your pelvis. So once again, that means your hip bones stay parallel to one another and you lift and lower this leg down and up. Let's go five, slowly lower down, exhale, lift four, lower down, exhale, lift three, lower down, lift two, lower down, lift one. Good, pause, now the leg to this side, 
back over to the left and to the right. Again, the hips stay steady as you move. To the right, back around. To the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Hold the leg to the left, down and up. Five, four, three, and two, and one. Bend the knee, bring the leg in, stretch the hips back. Excellent. Okay, so we're gonna come all the way down now. This time, my hips are gonna come onto the blanket. Good, my forearms for a moment, right underneath. My forearms pressing down my elbows under my shoulders. And just breathe, feeling, so right here, when you tuck your tailbone in and lift your sternum, you can really stretch your abdominals. So take a breath and do just that. Chin to the right, chin to the left. So keeping a full range of motion in all of your joints, allowing your muscles to both stretch and strengthen is so important for muscle function long term. All right, so practice everything, you know, with intention. Raise the right leg, bend and straighten the knee just a few times. Good. So the idea is the femur bone is lifted from the floor. You're bending, you're straightening. Two and one. Very nice. Let that leg come down. Do a little check. If your back is bugging you, lift your hips for just a moment. Actually, everyone can lift their hips for just a moment to reaffirm the abdominals. Exhale, lower that down. Lift the left leg. Just bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Three and two and one. Very nice. Lower that down, push the elbows in, lift the two hips. And now from the hips, lift an inch, lower an inch. Lift an inch, lower an inch. Inch by inch. Three and two and one. Excellent. Slowly lower the hips down. Lower your head now to your two hands make a little stack. And then let's exhale, lift both legs, bend your right knee, straighten the right knee. Bend the left knee, straighten the left knee. So we're gonna alternate here. Exhale, keeping the femur bones lifted, your abdomen in. Good. So pause here now with your left leg bent. Let the right leg circle in the hip socket for five, four, three, two, one other way, five, four, three, two, one. Shift to the position of the two legs. Now the left leg circles, five, four, three, two, one. Other way, five, and four, three, and two, and one. Good, two legs out, reach out on the diagonal and then right back down. Out on the diagonal and down, exhale. Remember, slow lower. Exhale, reaching out five, reaching out four, reaching out three, reaching out two, reaching out one. Good pause. So once again, you can circle three, two, one other way, three, two, one. Allow the legs to relax. Rock your hips side to side. Rest your legs on the floor for a moment and then bring your arms back behind you. So leave your head resting. And all I want you to do, so I don't know if you can see this here, but I have, you can really see the curve in my thoracic spine. So I've let my shoulder blades go completely. So now I want you to just practice. So allow the arms to relax completely, then pull the shoulder blades together on your back. So allow them to down and up, down and up. So you'll feel a little work in your latissimus, a little work in the tricep muscles. Good, as just the shoulder blades pull together and release. Pull together and release, pull together. Now hold the together and then lift the arms. So take the arms down and up, five, four, three, two, one. Now from here, see if you can take, I'm gonna take my right hand, tap the left side of my back and then reach back out. So here you go, try five and four and three and two and one. Never done that before in my life. I love it. 
I'll never not do that. So now the left arm reach across and back, across and back, across and back. Good for three and two and one. Good. Exhale. Take your arms out to the side and then roll your palms up. Roll the palms down. So it's basically the thumbs roll up, the thumbs roll down, the thumbs roll up, the thumbs roll down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Good. Bring the arms out in a Y shape and then back to a T shape. So you're going to just draw little mini rainbows. Good. And make your, if you feel tightness in the shoulders, let the arms go wider. Don't let them come up so high. Good. And then from here, let's go ahead, exhale, take your hands, press in, lift your chest, relax your neck, lift the legs, let them float up, two arms float up, and now you can swim. So you'll inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, last time, inhale, two, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Let's roll onto the left side or the side that lets you face the computer screen. Okay, so take your top arm up and press your two feet in. And if it helps you to balance, let the feet come slightly forward and then you're really gonna focus on aligning the hip bones. So that means a vertical line from this bottom hip to the top hip. Let me tell you right now, the tendency is for the top hip to lean back, and you'll notice that creates a little uh, dysfunction in your SI joint. So the more vertical, the more parallel the pelvis, the more stabilization you have. So exhale, lift the arm and the leg, and focus on pelvic lumbar stabilization. So it doesn't matter how much you lift, just do an arm, just do a leg, but intend to maintain that pelvic lumbar stabilization. So that means from here to here, we're steady, we're supported, we're engaged. Very nice. So now hold that leg up, roll the toes up, roll the toes down. Down and up, down and up, three, two, one, good, hold the toes rolling out, point the toe, let it come and tap the um, uh, inside of the bottom knee, tap, down and up, five, and four, and three, and two, and one, good, holding that leg out, now from inside the hip flexor, down and up, five, just small little movement, four, and three, and two, and one, very nice, inhale. And then you're gonna slowly let that leg come forward, bend the knee, and exhale, create a little twist by reaching your top arm back. Good, give one big full deep breath here, and now place your top hand in front of your bottom armpit. Leave the knee where it is, and now lift the whole bottom leg down and up. So from the inner thigh, lift down and up for five, four, three, two, and one. Leg moves slightly forward, lift down and up, five, four, three, two, one. Leg moves slightly back, down and up. So you've got a bunch of little muscles in there, so it's good to Change the orientation of the bones slightly so that they all get to do their thing. Good, exhale, pause. Now with your top hand, push down. Now lift your bottom arm up, three and two and one. Good, place that arm in. Tuck your bottom leg in also. Good, you can enjoy a little stretch here, of the hips and the back. And then we're gonna sweep the legs over onto the opposite side. All right, perfect timing. And we'll come down to rest on this side. So again, remember the orientation of the bones matters more than how many repetitions you do. Because if the alignment is off, then 
the muscles aren't really quite working as, as well as they could. So feel these bones. And if it's helpful to you to just do the leg a few times first, and make sure you can maintain that orientation. Uh, so down and up, and then if it feels nice to add the top arm because we got the coordination going in the lower limbs. Excellent, three. And exhale, lifting two. Really push the bottom leg down. Exhale, lift one. Now pause in that lift. Turn the toes up, turn the toes down. Good, on the top leg. There we go, three. And then you'll notice that rotation, a lot of work for the inner thigh and outer hip. Good, so now you're gonna point the toe, let the knee come down. So the toe comes down to the inside of the bottom knee. This kneecap should face the ceiling all the way up. And again, you're gonna try to maintain a vertical line between your top hip and your bottom hip. Exhale, reach five. Exhale, reach four. Exhale, reach three. Reaching two and reaching one. Good. Just down and up in external rotation with this top leg. So here you go. Five. Exhale, lifting four. Exhale, lifting three. Slowly coming down. Exhale, lifting two. Exhale, lift one. Go ahead, bend this top knee. Let the foot travel to the floor. The knee comes down. Take a little opening of your chest, taking that top arm back. Oh, big stretch. Take one more full, complete breath here. And then let's exhale. Take your top hand in front of your breastbone. Let bottom leg come down and up, down and up, down and up, two. And one, now bring the leg slightly forward, down and up five, down and up four, down and up three, two, and one. Exhale, reach the leg slightly behind you, down and up five, down and up four, down and up three, two, and one. Good, pause. With this top hand, really push. And then with the bottom arm, really lift, three, and two, and one. Good, bring that arm in, tuck your two legs in. Exhale, reach your hips back for a moment. Really stretch your back, it's wonderful. Good, and then bring the weight slightly forward. Now here's a trick. Can you push your feet into the floor? Lift the hips, walk yourself back into a down dog. Okay, so we're gonna push our weight all the way up. And then I'm gonna walk this blanket out of my way. Now, if you're gonna use, um, if you're gonna do push-ups on your knees, go ahead and leave it there. And let's inhale, come to a standing position at the back of your mat. I'm gonna slightly orient this up. That's too much. I need a camera crew. All right, so then, Bring your arms all the way up overhead. Drop the shoulder blades, front of the ribs connected. And then you're gonna exhale, bring the hands to the hips. Extend your spine forward for a moment. Walk your hands slowly, slowly, slowly down the legs. Hands here to your shin bones for just a moment. Inhale, walk your right hand out. Your left hand out will go right, left, right. Good, again, if you have trickiness with your um, wrists, you can put your hands on weights or create a little wedge and let's pull your elbows in and back. Good. So again, if you're feeling fatigued this morning, when you lower and lift, bend your knees, let them rest on the floor and that's okay too. Let's see if we can do three more of these. Three and up, two and up, one and up, Lifting your hips, and now this time walk your feet in towards your hands, and you're gonna exhale, find yourself in a standing position, head above the tail. Good, so now I've, um, I'm at the front of my mat. I'm gonna put my two weights in my hands. Good, so from here, let's try this. 
arms at your sides. Let the thighs move back. And I want you to let your spine stay long. Lower any amount. You can keep the weight primarily in your heels. The thigh bones can move back. The head can stay above your neck, your neck above your shoulders, right? So you create a nice long line. The other thing is as you're lifting and lowering here, the spine stays stable, right? It's not, you're not bending, rounding in the spine, you're keeping it straight. Good, so let's pause in your bend and then pull the elbows back to your sides. Good, try to keep the gaze up and out in front of you. And we'll go five and four and three and two and one. Good, forearms back and in five and four, three and two and one. Good, inhale. Let's come all the way up, bring your arms overhead. Now exhale, pull the weights in front of your heart as you lift your heels. Weights up, exhale, lift five. Weights up, exhale, lift four. Weights up, exhale, lift three. And exhale, lift two. And exhale, lift one. Good pause, lower the heels down, step your left leg back. Good, go ahead and anchor the heel into the floor to stretch your calf. And then do a little hip bone check. The right hip needs to move back. Left hip forward so we can balance the bones of the pelvis. Good, and hold your spine long. Reach the arms forward and back down. So we'll go five and four and three and two and one. Hold, open the arms, close the arms, five and four and three and two. And one, good, forearms up and down, five and four and three and two and one. Slowly release the weights to the side, pivot through your feet. We're gonna try that same thing, opposite side. So now front knee is slightly bent. Exhale, really see if you can anchor your calf, so, or anchor your heel to stretch the calf. So push the heel down towards the floor and then lift the knee joint away from the floor. So that's the resistance that stretches your big old gastrocnemius. So exhale the arms up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Good, remember those plumb lines. So through the ear, through the shoulder, through the hips, you wanna feel Long vertical lines. Good, arms open and close. Five and four and three and two and one. Fold the forearms in, reach them out. Five, fold in, reach out. Four, fold in, reach out. Three, fold in, reach out. Two, fold in, reach out. One, good. So now from here, we're gonna slowly, slowly Bend over this leg. Let your fingertips come to the floor. Let your head melt so that the neck stretches completely. Let's aim for length in both knees. But if you have to sacrifice one, bend the front knee and lengthen the back knee. Good. And then from here, looking at your toes, you're just going to pivot all the way around. The big toes face in and the head can release. If it feels nice, take opposite hand to shin. Switch the cross of the arm. Good, and then we're gonna come pivot towards the opposite toes. And the 10 toes are gonna face that same direction, master menos, the back toes are slightly turned up. And then from here, 
lightly, lightly, bend the front knee, bring yourself up. And dear friends, that is all we have time for. So, thank you very much por participar. I'm glad you were here and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, everybody.